what's up guys back again with another uh, episode in the Java tutorial here so um, what we've been going over right uh, well recently is the classes right and we can create constructors and parameterized constructors you know as we declare a new object we enter these parameters and then it gives uh, gives it data and just stuff like that and hopefully you've been working with that and learning how to like just make new stuff and uh, practicing and all that cool stuff but what I want to teach you in this episode is um, we have these variables here that we make inside of our classes, which is basically a template, right? And sometimes we want to change them. Sometimes we maybe want to get them and just have them for ourselves and access them for some reason. So, for example, we have a name here, right? The zebras have a name. So, new zebra, which is Gary, has a name. Let's say we want to print that out, that name out. We could do dot name, right? Um, or what we could do is grab a getter and a setter for it. So let me show you what I mean. So we can always type it out, but the easy way to get a getter and a setter inside of the IntelliJ IDEA or whatever you call it is by doing this code and then go to generate or alt insert. And then we have these options here. So it'll start creating stuff for us, which is really cool. So we have this generate option getter and setter. So we can have just one or the other or we can just do both so now we can do that and let's select both the name and the age uh, variables here so just hold control and then click them both click OK and now we have these things right here so what could this be for well if you think about the words get and set set is where you change something and get is where you just get it it's pretty simple so right so let's say we want to get the name of our zebra we could do you know just access the variable you know manually by doing dot name or we can use this little function here get name get name so I mean of course you could do dot name but get name is usually going to be more useful later on and also set name so um anyway so let's print out get name and just keep in mind, this is just to make your life easier by using the generate and all that. And then you have these automatically generated and then you can start coding and then access your variables and set them and stuff like that. So now right here we print out Gary, right? Ignore this crap, this is from last episode. So we have Gary and let's say we want to change Gary. So let's do K whatever, Q I mean, and then say set name. Now we can put a, it wants a string. Let's see. Yeah, name is a string, so it knows that. It's really smart and intelligent. I guess that's why they call it IntelliJ. So we can give it a string name. So we're going to rename it from Gary to James. Okay, and then we can print out the new, the new um, get name. So get name. There we go. So now we have Gary and James, and as you can see, it's just really, really simple. And really cool so now let's set the age so we can do this with any of the variables that we select that we want to generate and we chose both of them so you know we can do it both right so we can do let's print out what get age even is or just what the age is i mean it should be like 65 as we select here nice nice so let's change it um right here so dot set age and then it wants an integer of the type or of the name age i guess that's the parameter, I guess, but it just wants an integer. That's all we need to know. So we'll give it a integer of four, 12, 12. And so we're printing that out here, right? Because we put it before. And so we have 12 at the end now. So we can change anything we want to basically. So yeah, um, that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do something here. We're gonna create a new class and we're gonna give it, well, yeah, 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 yeah. And so, this is going to be like this is going to be like an example project that you guys can do, and this will teach you more about classes and it's just practice basically. Okay, so we're going to have a class, class um, bank account, and so inside of our bank account we want to have a few things. So string um, account number. So this will give us our bank account number, and then um, we'll have. Um, long balance assuming you're really rich you might want a long variable um let's see um what else might we need oh let's see um string account username so let's just do username like that and um string um user oops user last name 
and then string address. Oh, there we go. And then we'll have one more string age, or no, int age, oops, int age. So there we go, we have a bank account, we have a balance, you know, for all the money, and then we have all these variables for the bank account, basically. And so what we can do here is um, have a, well, we can have our getters and setters, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So code generate uh, getter and setter. So and then we'll have all these selected here. And okay, so we have all this spam here because we have all these now. And yeah, so pretty cool, pretty cool. And um, so from there, we can have our constructor. So, okay, so go ahead and do, um, what's it called? The class name, bank account. So bank account. And then I uh, got to have these here in case we want to use parameters, right? So bank account, and then um, this will be our constructor. So we can have, um, let's say this, whenever we create a new bank account, we want to have fill everything out, I guess. So yeah, that makes sense. So of course we want to have account number. Oops. Let me think, what am I doing wrong? All right, we have to have a data type. So string, string, account number, then uh, long balance, then string first name, string last name, uh, int age, string address, and we'll move int age after. There we go. And so this will use that. And then, so yeah, that's creating a new bank account with those values. And yeah, so that makes sense. So account number equals account number, right? Um, what's it called? Yeah, 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 because that's, yep. <laughs> and then balance equals balance. I believe I'm doing this right. Well, I think I need to give them different names than the uh, one set up here. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll say um, param, add that on there, so param. So now these correlate, that's good. And now these correlate up here. So yeah, that was just a stupid little mistake. So balance, so balance param, meaning parameter. Okay, and uh, yeah, so this can get kind of tedious. So let's see if there's a generate for this. I'm pretty sure there is, so generate, I saw it. So generate um, constructor. So let's try that. And then we can add the variables that we want to have in it. Good. Oh, where is it? Did they give us one? Maybe this one conflicted with it. Hold on. Let's get rid of this momentarily. Try it again. Oh, awesome. There we go. So now we have all our things set. Oh, I see. So they just use this dot account number so they wouldn't conflict. So this meaning the class and then so now it knows it's telling it that it refers to the class. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we can create our constructors that easily pretty much. And so yeah, so now um, we have our getters and setters. We have our constructors. So let's go ahead and create a bank account. So um, bank account. Um, Larry's account equals new bank account. And then we gotta have our um, variables here. I mean, uh, yeah, variables. So parameters, right? And so we'll give it a count number of, it has to be a string, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, and then we'll have a balance of $100. He's just kind of broke like me, and then we have a string, that's his name, so uh, Larry Pickleson, and then address, um, Houston City Baby, and then age, 140 years old, he's pretty old. So now we have our bank account, pretty cool. So just to test this, that this works, let's do, um, let's print out some information here. So, oops, got to output it, right? So Larry's account dot get account number. So this should print our bank account number 
for Larry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we get all that. And then um south Larry's account dot balance. Uh no, get balance. I mean it'll do the same thing. It should. But yeah, that's the way we should do it. It's more presentable. Just look at that. It's beautiful. So yeah, we get a hundred. So we can do these for all of these and it'll work the exact same way. So um yeah. And so let's say we want to change our balance, like add a certain amount to it. So let's go ahead and put something before here. So let's say add um, $600 and take away 400. So we can manually change this, I guess, by doing this. So system or oops, south, um, no, not south, um, Larry's account dot set balance. So we can manually set the balance now. So what do you have? We want to add $600, right? So 700, but then we're taking away 400. So we should have 300 left over. So we could just do all that manually um, in our head or, and we can print it out, or we could use um, some methods here inside of our class that will allow us to not have to do these calculations by ourselves. But yeah, that's just a demonstration of how to demonstrate set and get. So we're still going to use get, but we're going to use a specific method for the setting of the balancing. Yeah. So um, we're going to create a method here. So public void um, deduct money. I guess that makes, I guess that's what you call it. So deduct money. And then, so in here, we can have a parameter called long amounts. I mean, we're, we're using a long because that's what we have as our balance type. So we'll, we don't want them to conflict if they will. But I don't think they will. I think I spelled amounts wrong. Maybe. I don't know. Raw, I'm trash at spelling sometimes. Not really. Okay. Anyway, so this will give us a value here. So <clears throat> balance equals balance minus amount. And that should work exactly how we want it to work. And then we'll have, we'll put this one above it. So public void add money long amount. Pretty sure it's 1M. So balance equals balance plus amount. Yeesh, my typing. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we have 300 here. So let's go ahead and do this now with our new methods that we have. So Larry's account dot add money. Then we'll add $600. And then Larry's account dot uh, deduct money. And we'll take away $400. So that should leave me with 300 if I did the math right in my head. Hopefully I did, because that would be embarrassing. But yeah, we did get the right amount. So that's pretty cool. We made our methods. But anyway, um, this is pretty much it with this episode. We made a bank account, mock bank account, so we can test our class making skills. And we used the generate thingy. So alt insert, I believe, is how we... Oh, nope, not that one. Alt, yeah, alt insert our code and then generate and then we can make constructors you can make getters and setters um all kinds of stuff if you just play around but anyway i hope you enjoyed this episode if you liked leave a like and if you want to subscribe and see more subscribe and peace